Hello and welcome to Chapter 3. The Chart of Accounts. Part of Practical Bookkeeping Theory. Brought to you by the Association of Practical Accounts, APA. Hi, my name is Kate, together with Paul, to take you through this chapter. We only appear on this slide, but we'll be talking to you through the whole chapter. To get the best from us, we request for silence and maximum attention. However, if there is anything not clear, please pause or replay the slide or video, as many times as you want. We wish you all a good learning session. Chapter Overview 3.1 Introduction is on slide 4. 3.2 Incomes is on slide 22. 3.3 Expenses is on slide 26. 3.4. Indirect expenses is on slide 32. 3.5. Assets is on slide 43. 3.6. Liabilities is on slide 53. 3.7. Equity accounts is on slide 59. 3.8. Different chart of accounts is on slide 61. Section 3.1 Introduction Chart of Accounts COA is the arrangement of accounts and the general ledger, according to whether they are incomes, expenses, assets, liabilities, or equity accounts. The five classifications are illustrated next. The five classifications of accounts in the general ledger are Incomes Expenses Assets Liabilities and equity. Inside most of these classifications we have sub-classifications. Inside the sub-classifications we have group accounts. Inside each group account we have individual accounts and the hierarchy is illustrated below. We have 5 accounts classifications, 6 sub-classifications, 30 group accounts, plus 131 individual accounts. This slide shows the general ledger split into the five classifications of incomes, expenses, assets, liabilities, and equity. It shows expenses split into the sub-classifications of direct and indirect expenses. It shows assets split into the sub-classifications of fixed assets and current assets. It shows liabilities split into the sub-classifications of current liabilities and long-term liabilities. An account is reserved or created for each individual classification of income, each individual expense, each individual asset, each individual liability, and individual equity accounts. The arrangement of accounts and these classifications simplifies the year-end process of preparing the notes to accounts and the summarized final accounts. The incomes and expenses balances end up on the profit and loss account, while the assets, liabilities, and equity balances end up on the balance sheet. In this chapter we identify the sub-classifications found in each classification, the group accounts found in each sub-classification, and the individual accounts found in each group account. Below are several illustrations for the chart of accounts, although split over several slides. This slide has the two groups of income accounts, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the sub-classification of direct expenses, the three groups accounts, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the start of indirect expenses, the two groups accounts, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the group's accounts of 9 and 10, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the group's accounts 11 to 13, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the group's accounts 14 to 16, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the group's accounts 17 to 19, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the sub-classification of fixed assets, the two groups' accounts, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the sub-classification of current assets, 
the five groups of accounts, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the subclassification of current liabilities, the two groups accounts, plus the individual accounts in each group. This slide has the subclassification of long-term liabilities, the two groups accounts, plus the individual accounts in each group. In addition, it has the equity classification, plus the three individual accounts. Section 3.2 Incomes An income is what a business receives from the sale of goods or services. We don't have subclassifications. Income is split into turnover and other income which are the group accounts, as illustrated below. We see how income is split into the groups of turnover and other income. The individual accounts in the group of turnover are 1. Sales takings 2. Fees charges The individual accounts in the group of other income are 3. Commission income 4. Rent income 5. Interest income 6. Insurance compensation. Plus 7. Any other income. Turnover is what comes from the sale of goods and services. It's a group account, while the individual accounts are sales takings and fees charges. Other income is a group account for the other incomes, which are not part of turnover. The individual accounts are commission income, rent income, interest income insurance compensation, and any other income. Section 3.3 Expenses An expense is money spent to buy goods and services used by a business for less than one year. Most expenses are made in form of a purchase. Expenses are classified into direct and indirect as illustrated below. This slide shows the sub-classifications among expenses, plus their group accounts among direct expenses. Direct expenses is the money spent directly and individually on what is sold by a business. Indirect expenses refers to general expenses not directly related to what is sold. Direct expenses are classified into three group accounts, cost of sales, subcontractors, and other direct expenses. Cost of sales is the group account while the individual accounts are opening stock, stock purchases, materials and consumables, closing stock, plus cost of sales disallowed. Subcontractors is the group account while the individual accounts are subcontractor charges and subcontractors disallowed. Other direct expenses is the group account while the individual accounts are direct labor, direct carriage costs income discount, commission expense, other direct expenses, plus other direct expenses disallowed. Hi, we thank you for your cooperation through the past slides. We hope you are gaining some knowledge in the process. Please remember to note down anything important or requires clarification. You may discuss with a colleague, an accountant, or a tutor nearby. Your next option is attending our free online tutorials, where you ask any questions. Your last resort is sending an email to admin at practicalaccounts.com. If you need to have a break, just press the pause button. Otherwise, we keep firing on all cylinders. All we need is your silence and undivided attention. Thank you. Section 3.4 Indirect Expenses among the indirect expenses we have 13 group accounts as explained below. This shows the 13 groups of accounts among indirect expenses. This includes employee costs, premises costs, repairs and maintenance, administrative expenses, motor expenses, travel and subsistence, advertising and entertainment, legal and professional, bad debts, interest charges, other finance charges, depreciation and disposal, plus other business expenses. Employee costs is the group account while the individual accounts are gross wages, employers and SSF, temporary staff, recruitment costs, staff training, staff welfare, 
Other employee costs, plus employee costs disallowed. Premises costs is the group account while the individual accounts are rent, home office use, council charges, water, electricity, gas, property insurance and security, cleaning, plus premises costs disallowed. Maintenance costs is the group account while the individual accounts are repairs and maintenance, machine and equipment hire, equipment below 300 pounds, software not capitalized plus maintenance costs disallowed. And administrative expenses is the group account while the individual accounts are telephone, other communication, postage, courier services, stationery and printing, subscriptions and references, business insurance, refreshments, meals at work, plus administrative expenses disallowed. Motor expenses is the group account while the individual accounts are petrol and diesel. Vehicle maintenance, vehicle insurance, other motor expenses, plus motor expenses disallowed. Travel and subsistence is a group account while the individual accounts are mileage allowance, travel tickets and taxi, hotel and meals overnight, plus travel and subsistence disallowed. Promotion and entertainment is the group account while the individual accounts are advertising, sales promotion, entertainment up to 50 pounds plus promotion and entertainment disallowed. Professional fees is the group account while the individual accounts are legal fees, accountancy charges, other professional fees, plus professional fees disallowed. Bad debts is the group account while the individual accounts are bad debts and bad debts disallowed. Interest charges is the group account while the individual accounts are overdraft interest, loans interest, Higher purchase interest, other interest, plus interest charges disallowed. Finance charges is the group account while the individual accounts are bank charges, credit card charges, loan fees, overdraft fees, higher purchase charges, other finance costs, plus finance charges disallowed. Depreciation and disposal is the group account while the individual accounts are depreciation charge and the fixed assets disposal. Other expenses is the group account, while the individual accounts are donations, sundry expenses, plus other expenses disallowed. Section 3.5. Assets. An asset is anything owned by a business and used to make money or profit. Since a business belongs to its owner, then assets is what belongs to the owner through the business. We have fixed assets and current assets, plus their group accounts illustrated below. This slide shows how assets are split into the groups of fixed assets and current assets. The individual accounts in the group of fixed assets are 20. Equipment, machinery and vehicles 21. Other fixed assets The individual accounts in the group of current assets are 22. Stock and WIP. 23. Trade debtors. 24. Bank balances. 25. Cash in hand. Plus 26. Other current assets. Fixed assets. These are items bought with the aim of using them for many years in a business. Examples are land, buildings, machinery motor vehicles, office furniture, equipment, and others. Fixed assets are classified into two groups, which are the equipment, machinery and vehicles, plus the other fixed assets. Equipment, machinery and vehicles is the group account while individual accounts are machinery and equipment cost, machinery and equipment depreciation, vehicles cost, vehicles depreciation, furniture and fittings cost plus furniture and fittings depreciation. Other fixed assets is the group account while the individual accounts are goodwill cost, goodwill depreciation, property improvements cost, property improvements depreciation, premises cost, plus premises depreciation. Current assets. This refers to cash and the other assets easily converted into cash. Current assets don't stay for long in a business. 
it's through the changing of their form that profit is made. For example, when stock is sold for cash, the form of the asset changes from stock to cash, and profit is made in the process. We have five classifications for current assets, as illustrated below. Stock and work in progress. Trade debtors. Bank. Cash. Other current assets. Stock and work in progress is the group account, while the individual account is only the stock and WIP trade debtors is the group account and it's the only individual account. That is where all transactions regarding trade debtors are recorded. Bank is a group account and the individual accounts are Bank 1, check receipts, electronic receipts, plus Bank 2, in case the business has more than one bank account. Cash is a group account and it's the only individual account. On a few occasions, some businesses maintain more than one cash account. Other current assets is the group account while the individual accounts are income reserve, prepayments, other debtors, rent deposit, plus purchases that. Section 3.6 Liabilities Liabilities is money which a business owes to others. It may have borrowed money or bought items on credit. Since a sole trader business belongs to its owner, then liabilities is what the owner owes through the business. Liabilities are split into current and long-term liabilities, as illustrated below. The group accounts among current liabilities are trade creditors and other current liabilities. The group accounts among long-term liabilities are loans and higher purchases. Current liabilities are the ones repaid within 12 months, while the long-term liabilities are repaid over several years. Current liabilities are subdivided into trade creditors and other current liabilities. Trade creditors is the group account and it's the only individual account. That is where all transactions regarding trade creditors are recorded. Other current liabilities is the group account while the individual accounts are accruals, VAT payable, pay and NI, net wages, advance income, credit card, lottery, agency collection. Other creditors, sales VAT, plus temporary suspense. Long-term liabilities are subdivided into loans and higher purchases. Loans is the group account. The business may have more than one loan and each loan should have its own account. Higher purchases is a group account, and it's the only individual account. Section 3.7 Equity Accounts These are accounts where we record values that came from owner, and values that went to them. We have the capital brought forward, capital added, and drawings accounts as illustrated below. On this slide we have the three individual accounts in the classification of equity. Section 3.8 Different chart of accounts In this chart of accounts we have seen 131 accounts in total. They are quite many and we can't use them in a single exercise. In the real practical environment, some businesses may not require all them. What we have done is give awareness about the possible accounts we can have in the general ledger and how they should be arranged or grouped. However, as individual users, we can make modifications by increasing or reducing the number of accounts. When recording transactions, we only create those accounts that are required. The chart of accounts explained and illustrated in this chapter is for a sole trader. The one for a partnership is only slightly different. The chart of accounts for a limited company is much more different, as explained in the book on accounting procedures. For most of this book we focus on procedures for a sole trader. A sole trader is a business organization owned by a single person. A partnership is a business organization owned by between 2 and 20 people. After getting to the end of this chapter, please test yourself by attempting the multiple choice questions in the textbook. For better exam preparation, do further reading in your textbook. If you don't have a copy, please contact admin at practicalaccounts.com.